Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and today I am going to show you how to install my RPG Madness mod pack. It's very simple to do. I'm going to go through all the steps, but I did want to point out there are four mods I just haven't gotten permission for yet. So after we install the mod pack, I'll show you how to add them to it. It's extremely simple to do. So the first link I should have left below is technicpack.net slash download. It says right here, download the launcher. So we'll click on this and we will re-download it. I already have it, but I want to show like every step. So it is done downloading. And all we need to do is open it up and launch it. It's actually super simple to set this up. It only takes a couple minutes. So you see right here is add new pack. So we want to click on that. Then you want to click on it one more time. And the second link I should have left below, you actually just paste right in here. So we'll control V and add mod pack. And you can see it right there, RPG Madness. And then I just hit launch. This is the only thing that takes a couple minutes. It'll take a few minutes, you know, to actually download the pack. So we got to wait this through. I know it's not very exciting. I mean, normally I don't do videos like this because, you know, it's very, it's very boring to watch this download bar go right now. <laughs> so we'll wait a couple minutes and then it should launch. All right, guys, so it is finally launching. It took about one minute for everything to actually download. And here we go. And this is really all you need to do. And the game should run perfectly with all the mods installed, except for the few I just couldn't get permission for. I mean, legally, you just aren't allowed to add them to a mod pack without the permission. So you can see right here, 50 mods have loaded. And if you go through the mod list, they're all here. So everything you want is there except for those four. So if you want to start up a world right now, you can, but you should close it so we can install the other mods. All right, so we'll start with the easiest one first. Twilight Forest, actually super easy to install. And it's actually in 1.5.2 right now. So the download link is right there. So you just need to click that. Got an add fly link coming, you know, don't don't click this giant download button. I know, I know I even want to click it. It's so big and it says download, but no, it's an ad. Skip the ad. Ad should pop up right there. Twilight Forest. So grab that. You can actually close out of this now. And Mutant Creature is another one that's easy to install. So we'll scroll down here until we find the download section. Should be around here somewhere. There it is. For 1.5.2. Because the mod pack is a 1.5.2 mod pack. If you try to install something that isn't from that, it just won't work, even if it's the same mod. So this is going very slowly. Things always go slower when you're recording anyway. So it is right here. You see it says Mutant Creatures. All you need to do is click on that. And here comes up another AdFly link. So we got to wait through these another five torturous seconds right now. At least no videos or anything popped up. So skip ad and download this too. So right now, I'm going to show you how to install those into it because these take a little bit more effort. Not too much, really, though. All right, so these are done. You can see I already have them. but um, So I'm just going to grab these. I'm going to copy them. So now go to your start menu and type in percentage, app, data, percentage. And roaming should pop up right there. So click on that. And go to Technic. So if you go to Technic, you're going to see RPG Madness Mod Pack. Click on that. And all you need to do is go to the mod section right here and just, you know, paste those in. Could have also cut and paste them in. It doesn't really matter. And they're now in here and part of it. You can see they're right there. Twilight Force and Mutant Creatures. So we've got two of the mods installed perfectly. The next one, Asgard Shield. This one takes a little bit more time because it actually has, like, add-ons to it. So this is what we're going to add. The Asgard Shield Core. So open that up in another tab. Nether Ender and Hollowed. So these are all going to go to their own separate ad fly links, and they can only load one at a time. So we will skip this ad and get this one downloading. Just click the download button right there. So we've got one going. And you close out of that. Click here to continue. doesn't let you open multiple at the same time. I think because they actually make money off these, so they think you might actually, you know, be doing something illegal. Trying to, like, make the money or something. <laughs> if you have multiple ad fly links open at the same time. So hit the download on this one. And, of course, I got, like, some kind of, you know, ad to pop up here. So, <laughs> I'll get rid of that. And um, one right here. So, we'll click to continue. And then all these should be fairly easy to install. They all just drop right in just like the other one. I just did those first because these, you know, actually there's, like, multiple to it. And hit the download. All right. So, we should have all three of these downloaded now. And there they are. Asgard Shield, Add-on, Nether Ender, and Hollowed. So, once again... All you have to do, copy or cut those, up to you. Go to your mods folder you were just in and paste these in. So Asgard Shield is now installed. All right, and the last one is Optifine. 
and this one is actually updated to 1.6 so you're going to want to go down to older versions right here see the latest one that was 1.5.2 hit that download button and this one's a little bit harder to install i mean it really only takes a couple second your seconds you really get used to doing this stuff anyway so please wait skip ad and here it is download optifine and don't hit that big download button. they try to trick you with those ads it's evil it's actually this little one all right so that one is downloading now and it should be done so we'll go to downloads and what we're going to do is open this up you need to have like win set win zip or um seven zip some kind of zipping program and something's about to pop up close out of that and now what i'm gonna go to is back to mods go back one step go to bin go to modpack.jar and then open that with WinZip or WinRAR or whatever the hell you have. And let me put it right there. And I'm going to grab all this stuff from Optifine. And then I'm just going to drag it in there. And click OK. And we're done. Everything should be installed. All right. So what we'll do now is we are going to open up Tectic Launcher once again. And all the mods that you added should be now part of the mod pack. I mean, in the future, hopefully I'll get permission for those. So you won't have to do that extra step. I know it doesn't take too long, but it'd be nice if it just downloaded it for you. All right, so here we go. It's loading up. It's pretty exciting, I know. And it should say more than 50 bots. And it should say Optifine at the bottom. All right, so you can see now it says Optifine right there. And it says 56 mods instead of 50 because we have them all installed now. So you can start your world and get started. All right, guys, so I have loaded up a world, and you can definitely tell it is modded. I mean, there's structures all over the place. There's mushrooms. I mean, there is a ton to do with this mod pack. But that's about all I have to show with the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.